Hey, what is going on guys? It's Gunner here from MenuDux and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be making a Rainbow Six Statistics command. Now, I know that I said I was going to introduce the new mini series that we're going to be doing in the Discord.js series. However, it's been delayed by a couple weeks just for the pure fact that I want to be able to produce the best content we can. And to do so, I'm going to need to delay it a little bit so we can get some stuff worked out. Now, to get started, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing this module and doing this down here. So we're going to install the R6 API.js module uh, from the MBN NPM registry. And then we're going to re we're going to do some object deconstruction and get these uh, if I can English today, Jesus, we're going to get these uh, functions from the module and right here. This is the email and password of your Ubisoft account. I have this in a separate file because I don't want you guys to see this, obviously. Um, reason being is it's a personal email and the password, it, it's my actual password for my account. So I'm not gonna show that, but you can have these in a string. So you could do your 123abc um, at, for instance, gmail.com and then just have your password as whatever. It's just your, it's your password and username for your Ubisoft account. Rainbow Six is obviously an Ubisoft game. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to do const platforms and we're going to have two objects here. So the first one is the platforms object. We're going to be having PC is equal to Uplay. And then we're going to have Xbox, which in most APIs is Xbox Live. And then we're going to have PS4, uh, PS4 which is PlayStation Network. And then we're gonna have the next one, we're gonna do const regions, and this is gonna be another object. By the way, definitely add spaces here. Looks cleaner, looks nicer, looks beautiful. And then we're gonna do EMEA. Next, we're gonna do NA, which is North America, NCSA, and over here we're gonna do AS, which is Asia, I believe. I, I would hope it's Asia. Right. So next we're going to do let player, player, platform, and then region. And that's basically the lexical definitions here is because we're going to like redeclare it as we go. So player gets redeclared several different times in the duration of the code. And uh, the platform and region get. Uh, redeclared a few times as well so first what we're going to do is we're going to have an if statement checking if there's a first argument provided um, reason being is because as you can see in here i've added region as platform as a um, optional par parameter so you want to check if the args the first arg provided um, actually exists so next what we're going to do is just message dot reply we're going to reply with please spec specify a player to search with an exclamation mark and then we're going to do else player equals arg zero and that's where we're going to obviously redeclare that lexical definition for the first time and then in here we're going to do platform equals xbox live um if platform equals Xbox Live, what we're going to do is we're going to set the player equals player dot replace and string dot replace means that the first input is what we want to replace and then the second input is what we want to replace it to. This is because in Xbox gamer tags, you can have spaces. So we're just going to make sure that you can handle that. We're going to go back up a little bit. we we'll add the semicolon there real quick. And then we're going to do args one and um, we're going to have PC comma Xbox comma PS4 not PS3 and then we're going to have dot include so we're going to use array dot includes um, args one or is it yeah args one and then we're going to do to lowercase now you want to make sure that you do have this and operator here because it's going to check that the the second argument is provided because you won't be able to to lowercase the um the the second argument provided if it doesn't exist so it will throw an error 
Uh, next, what we're going to do is obviously we're going to have a Tarnary operator here. So we're going to set platform equals uh, platforms, platforms, and then we're going to have args, args one to lowercase here. And then in the final part, what we're going to do, if it isn't provided, we're just going to have platforms equals, uh, we're just going to have platform, sorry, equals platforms and then PC. And we'll add a semicolon. And then do you know what? What we'll do is we'll just copy this and then we'll change the one to the two. Uh, do a two and then a two. Um, we're obviously going to change these to the regions. So EA. Um, what else we got? We got NA and then AS. And then we're going to change platform here to region. This one here to regions. This one here to region. This one here to, to regions. And then what we'll do is we'll change this to just default to EA, uh, EU, sorry. So we've got this down. Next line, we're going to do uh, player equals await get id now we want to get their id so we can use it to get their statistics we're going to have platform as a parameter here and then we're going to have player at a semicolon why have i done that as platter <laughs> we want that to be player next what we're going to do is we're going to have an if statement again we're going to check the player dot length and then if they're obviously we're going to check if there isn't a player dot length and then what we're going to do is message dot reply not replace message dot reply saying couldn't couldn't fetch result for that player you know the semicolon there again next in line we're going to do player equals player zero we're going to go down two lines and this is where we're going to have our uh constants to uh, obviously uh get the statistics so we're going to do player rank and then we're going to do equals await await get um oh no get rank obviously because we have these guys up here so you'll see they're up there we get rank we're going to provide in each one of them the platform the platform and then the player dot id and then we could probably most likely copy that and go down two more and then what we'll do is we'll change that from player rank to player stats and then we'll change this one from player rank to player game next what we're going to do is obviously change this so we'll, the first one will be get stats so we get stats and then this one will be get level and each one of them have the same parameters to be passed then we're going to go down two more we're going to do platform and now this is where it gets a little bit interesting so make sure that you copy it word for word letter for letter so we do object.keys we're gonna have platforms um dot find and then we're gonna have key arrow function platforms key and then we're gonna equals uh platform so make sure you follow that word for word. And then what we're going to do here is to upper case. And that's method, obviously. And now we're going to do region and then region equals object dot keys. And now we're going to do regions and then dot find. You're going to search key and then you're going to do regions key equals regions or region. Sorry. And then we're going to do two uppercase yet again. Now make sure you copy those word for word, letter for letter. Otherwise you will get mad errors. So now we're going to do const embed equals new rich embed. And then we're going to go set color. We're going to call in our uh, usual cyan. We're going to do uh, set author. And now the set author is going to be player dot username and then we're going to have just the bot dot user um dot display actually what we could do is we could we've missed a whole part here i've just remembered okay so instead of skipping straight to those what we'll want to do is we'll obviously want to get the variables themselves so 
we're going to do current here, max, and then last match. Uh, not last math, last match equals, and then player, player rank. Uh, we're going to do zero and do seasons object dot keys player rank zero and then dot seasons <laughs> should just be should just be another zero really and then we're gonna have dot regions and then region there we go let me do const and then these ones are a lot easier so we're gonna do pvp equals uh, sorry, not PvP, and then PvP, and then these guys equal player um, player stats there, and then zero. Don't forget your semicolons, guys. You gotta make it look beautiful. Uh, we'll change this real quick just to display avatar URL, so it doesn't look like it's erroring. And then what we do is const, and then level and XP. And that's going to be player, uh, player game here like that. So this, this one's obviously a long command guys. I think it's like 81 lines, something like that. Uh, but just bear with me and we'll get through it. So we're going to set the description here. Set the, oh, let's not add a semicolon there. Set the description. We're going to have the description as stats for the, and then we're going to have region region on and then we're going to have platform platform now obviously after that we're going to have add field and now our first field is going to be the general stats um we're going to have general like that we're going to call our bad boy strip indents back in because we love using strip indents why aren't you going up there we go now first one is going to be level uh, level is going to have obviously the use of level and then we're going to also add XP in here So we add XP and then XP Next what we're going to do in line is rank. We're going to do the rank and the rank is I just moved my cursor out the way there. We're going to do current Current dot name and then we're also going to check the max rank now this rank will only work if they have played ranked before so max.name next in line is our MMR and then we're gonna have the current dot MMR now that's for that field that's all done we're gonna add another field so we'll add field and then we're gonna have just statistics st statistics I'm gonna call our bad boy strip indents back we do that again I've got the comma don't forget the comma guys Okay, so the first one's gonna be wins. We're gonna have the pvp.general.wins. Next in line is losses. So we're gonna do losses. And losses will be pvp.general. Should just be the losses. Next in line is win slash loss ratio. Now we're gonna do a little bit of little bit of math so we're going to do pvp general dot wins and then slash which should just divide pvp dot general dot matches times 100 um and then what we're going to do is actually just have uh this should be in brackets like this reason being is because we're about to do two fixed and then we'll do two fixed and then just have a two there um, and then we'll have a uh, percentage sign at the end there. Next in line is kills. So we're going to have kills. Kills will be PVP general dot kills. Next in line will be deaths. If I can remember the have marked down in there. Deaths. And we have PVP dot general dot deaths. Next in line is uh, the kill kills dash deaths ratio and then after that ratio 
we're obviously going to have uh, something a little bit similar to what we have above. New PVP dot. If I can spell general kills slash PVP dot general dot deaths. And then we're going to have two fixed here. Then add the uh, ratio sign at the end there. So what we're going to do is we're going to do playtime next. So we do playtime. And then the playtime is going to be math dot round. It's going to be pvp dot general dot playtime. And then 3600. And then we're going to just have hours at the end. Now that's all for the statistics. What we'll do is we're actually just copy and paste this. Uh, because we're going to have T-Hunt, which is a terror terror is hunt and then we're gonna change pretty much the pvp to pve in all of these and then it should work a hundred percent no scam let's just check that all of those are pve it appears to be so Okay, cool. Then what we'll do is we'll add timestamp. After the timestamp, we'll add the set footer. Set footer will just be the username of the bot. We'll add a semicolon there because it's the end of the embed. Next, what we'll do is we'll send the, the actual embed. So message.channel to send embed. And if there's an error, we'll catch it. So we'll catch it obviously with E. Uh, Message.channel.send. Uh, there was an error and then we'll only send the error message so e dot message which will be just the top line there now that is pretty much it that should be done now we look back it is looking quite snazzy actually let's go back up here I forgot to set the thumbnail so we'll set thumbnail we we'll do current dot image and we just forgot to add a line in here to check the length. So what we'll do is we'll play a rank uh, dot length, check if that doesn't exist, or if player stats dot length doesn't exist, or if player game dot length. And if so, we'll just return, uh, just say uh, message dot reply. I was unable to fetch some of the data. Try again. And then that should be the entirety of that. So whilst I start up the bot, what I'll do is I'll play the Oxide Hosting advertisement. So I'll see you guys on the other side. This video is proudly sponsored by Oxide Hosting. With this hosting company, you can never go wrong. They provide outstanding customer support and all for a low price. Their services range from website hosting to Minecraft server hosting. If you are interested in them, be sure to check out the link in the description below. So now that we have the bot started up, what we'll do is we'll just head over into Discord. Now that we're in Discord, what we'll do is we'll just do R6 stats, uh, which is the actual name of the command, and then we'll do strand able. And then it will take a little bit because my internet is a little bit slow. So oh look at that comes up with that now we can check uh other statistics like you can provide um so the first one was the i believe platform so you can say pc and then the region is ea or eu sorry so we'll do that we'll have a quick look and it will obviously show the exact same i don't actually play on the asian servers or the north american servers because it's just easier to play on the europe ones um so i can't show stats for those because I, I actually don't know anyone that plays them so we'll do a quick stat check for um let's have a look so dobbies oh no i forgot his name already this is his name right here i think it's just a capital i isn't it yeah it's dev L's. so as you can see the statistics come up as well so that's going to conclude our episode for today. Um, I do apologize for it being so long and I hope you guys watch the entirety of the video. It's a cool command to have. 
and um yeah i'll have fun editing this anyways guys i'll catch you guys in the next video it's going to be something very interesting so stay tuned for that peace